Welcome back to The Daily Glitch, where we cover your top news stories each and every day. As we now know, Rise of Iron is the next expansion in the Destiny universe, and today Bungie hosted a live stream to provide more details on exactly what we can expect. The large expansion is set to drop on September 20th and will be available only on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One for $30. Bungie wanted to stress that this expansion would take players to places they have never seen before, revealing a whole new campaign and storyline. Of course, the Twitch stream today only showcased a handful of information, but Bungie promised that it would be revealing more information between now and the launch date. So let's go into detail on some of today's announcements on the upcoming expansion. Rise of Iron features a new campaign for you to play. In it, Lord Saladin is rallying the Guardians to help defend against a great evil, and as you play through the campaign, you will eventually become an Iron Lord yourself in the process. The journey begins with you returning to Fellwinter Peak, a new setting in the expansion, where you must reclaim the mountaintop by driving out the Fallen, eventually opening the newest social setting in Destiny. But Fellwinter Peak isn't the only new setting. In fact, there are three new settings in this expansion. Fellwinter Peak is where the Iron Lords once held watch over Russia hundreds of years ago, and is where you will claim a new social area and have access to the Temple of the Iron Lords. Another new location is the Plaguelands, where the Fallen have taken over and constructed a new landscape through the use of SIVA augmentation. Finally, you will head back to the Wall, which has changed since you took your first steps as a Guardian so long ago. Rise of Iron will also feature a new competitive scene, with a confirmed new raid which the Bungie team was unable to provide any additional details at this time. On top of the raid, there will be new and updated strikes, as well as new patrols and public events for Guardians to explore. Of course, there is also new gear for you to unlock. One theme of gear revolves around the Iron Lords, with another which is more SIVA related, and looks a little bit more industrialized. With these new items, there will also be an increase with the player's maximum light level. At this time, an exact number hasn't yet been revealed, but Bungie did call the increase significant. Finally, the Crucible update will showcase new maps, modes, and features. Of course, they limited the amount of information on this, so we can expect later streams and trailers with details. Odds are we may see similar promotions from before of weekly information releases over streams. And of course, we will find out more next week during E3. But you can pre-order this expansion now and unlock some exciting perks in-game, including the very much hyped Gallerhorn in black. But no worries if you aren't a fan of pre-ordering, as it has been confirmed everyone who plays Rise of Iron will eventually unlock this fan-favorite rocket launcher. Rise of Iron will launch September 20th, and we will keep you up to date on any new announcements as they come. And that is today's big gaming news. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date on the top gaming news each and every day. And join us next time for another Daily Glitch.